Hey everyone, what's up? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Chrysalis Part 2 walkthrough series. Today, we got a quest to find a guarded tent, which we just got. So let's go. It's gonna be fun. Right here. Hmm. Do you know how hard it is to refine it from the raw milk webs? I give you nothing. Oops. Hmm. Nothing. Let's see about that. Bring it on. Let's go. Mm. Oh, the volume's up. Okay, okay, I agree. Good. The goat weaver silk is strong and smooth and surprisingly light for such a large bundle. Light, huh? Really? I like the sound of that. All right, back to Taylor.
to work the silk. There is a mantis weaver at the driftwood docks. Her tent should not be hard to find. You need her loom. This is not any old device, but a potent artifact, the spinster's loom. She may not give it up easily. Ooh. We'll see about that. Flipping plastics, and checking for what we need. Yes. Oh, wait. Yeah. Well, we'll find out when we go inside. A sec. There we go. Just had to get lined up. You are the spellbinder that caused so much chaos in Fort Rakias. I will weave a tapestry of your tragic tale so that all will remember your doom. And ice. Gosh. Nothing like stone prisms can work about it. Oops. Gonna be a big downer. Yep. Frost Giant. First round. And we didn't block. Guess what? I got Shadow Strike. I got Shadow Strike. I mean, Strike. Yeah, that's what I got. Shadow Strike. Now I gotta find it. Find a shadow strike before I attack. Unless I have a shatter. Let me check. I don't have to clear up a lot, but I got reshuffles. Uh 
Uh oh. Oh boy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Up a crit. Oh yeah. Come on, gotta find Shadow Strike. Gotta go through. Yes! Just wasting time. Let's let's get this over with. Hmm. Here we go. Now let's find a storm owl. Yeah, shadow spells cost quite the risk of damage, but lucky. And another Reaper. And another crit. Clear up to find a storm owl. Yes, storm owl. Uh, it's a gargantuan. one. Let's see what I'll find. Oh.
Well, it's wasting time. Except the shield. Yes. Let me vanish like a handful of sand thrown it to the surf. Okay. Ooh, pretty good. Beautiful device. You can feel how it might channel your magic. What? We've been. What have we been doing? Oh yeah. We were we've been trained by Merle Ambrose. He taught us well. Totally. Taught us well. Alright. Is that everything? Wait, what? I was going <sighs> Never mind. Let's hope you can understand us. I just hope. Can you open the door, please? Okay. Chilly breeze. <laughs> well done. You're certain you're a wizard and not a pirate? No. Do we look like pirates? I hope they taught you some base skills in that wizard school of yours. You'll need your magic, but also a deft hand. Use the spinster's loom to weave the goat weaver's silk into a ball as large as you can make. Think of a great hollow sphere. Weave in your runes of magic to keep us safe from wind and storm and the hungry lurkers in the deep. Got it. You do your best. This is not the kind of thing they prepared you for in Ravenwood. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Yeah, that was pretty good. Eh, done, are you? That's it? I... I expected something a little... bigger. Higher and higher every day, till over the sea at noon, the great beast had no moment's rest, for he heard the loud bassoon. We need to send a loud, clear call to the great beast. There is a mustering horn in Fort Rakius. I have heard it too often. Go and fetch it. While you're about, search for a case of nautic stones. We'll need them too. Got it. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Help. Alright, back to Fort Regius. Again. go here that's that's close by I don't know let's check hmm yeah it is close by in fact it's really close there we go oh okay it's gonna happen like this when we enter dungeons all the time hmm I was afraid I missed you. I'm delighted you returned. Have you come for my case of nautics stones? Yep. Or have you come to hear my mustering horn? Its call is irresistible. Irresistible, huh? Well, I got news for you. Bring it on. Ah, uh, four gets two. Well, they're gonna get fluent with power novas. We shall see.
or Ross, we're going to get a lot of pain. Yep, I got clinch drums, you know. Ugh, those power novas. And I just got that off. Seriously? Come on, waste your pips. Please, no power nova. Please, no, please. If I don't get a power pit next, oh, what do you know? I did. Die already! Die! Yes! Oh yeah! It's a beautiful war consumes of us. ancient craftsmanship. Oh, uh, no, actually. Love it. Yes, chicken or no chicken? No. 
All right, back to the Crescent Beach. Hey, what I get? Oh. More background noises. Get used to everything around the, your surroundings or something. <coughs> Use me. Sorry, I'm a little sick. I think we're about, I think we're ready to summon the great beast. You're ready, I'm ready, cuz. Get ready to cross your fingers. It's gonna be big. Big indeed. And what have you brought me? Let me gaze upon those nautic stones you plundered. I see a Mundana. And Oceana Crystal, and an Atala, Rasatala, and Mahatala Stone. Perfect! These enchanted stones and crystals will help us navigate. Head to the Driftwood Docks and look for the ancient stone pier that lies just beyond. Found a coal on the mustering horn, and then drop the diving bell you made into the tide. That should bring the great beast up. Look for me there. This plan is disquieting. Yet I can see no other path for you to take. I pray the celestial powers will keep you safe. Keep your antennae twitching and your head on a swivel. I am sure we will meet again, Spellbinder. We shall meet again. Edge of the dock. Careful. Careful. Okay, here we go. You ready the mustering horn and take the deepest breath you can before giving it your all. The call warps and twists in the wind. It echoes off the rocky cliffs behind you and soars over the waves. And then you feel an answering roar from the depths below that thrums in your bones. Uh-oh. You see a great shape slicing through the dark depths. You drop the diving bell in and hope the magic works. <gasps> great beast! You step up to the great beast. You can't think of what else to call it. It's hard to even wrap your head around the idea of the thing. Using the diving bell as a kind of psychic anchor, you project your will into the great beast. For a moment, the image of dark waves and tremendous hunger threatens to drown you. But you call upon your training, your sense of school, and the power of light. And soon enough, it's purring. Though it's purr could probably shatter continents. Wow. With sloping scales and dripping maw, as who pursued with yell and blow still treads the shadow of his foe, and forward bends his head, the beast drove fast. Loud roar at the blast, and southward aye we fled. The Starfall Sea awaits. Shall we board our formidable craft and get underway? Climb upon the great beast and enter the diving bell. You'll need to focus on the dying star stone to guide us safely to our destination. All right. That wraps it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, it's always appreciated. Next time, we will sail across the Starfall Sea to the Radiance Reborn. Hype! On the Great Beast! So exciting! So have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. On the Great Beast. Bye bye guys.